Welcome back to Stooge Club. I am your host, The Stooge. If you're not aware, I am a comics dealer and I get lots in constantly. I just got another lot in. This was £37 worth of comics I got in. We're going to go through with them together, see what I'm going to keep, see what's going to go up for sale. Let's discover what we have in this £37 box. So, first up, we have Twilight Book 2. This is uh, Howard Sharkin. A uh, book, this was one of the DC prestige formatty books from the 90s. I have no idea what it is. We have a trade. Okay, we've got Nowhere to Escape. Grips. Okay, now, not sure who that is, but I do know who Ron Lim is. So this is some early Ron Lim art. That's very cool. We have, oh, Star Slayer, first comics. Uh, this is issue number 25. Oh, and if I haven't said keep. So Star Slayer, 23. So these will all eventually, let me turn the light a little bit because it's a bit bright, uh, will eventually go up for sale on my eBay page. Details are in the comments thing or the details thing, whatever. Uh, Star Slayer, 22. Okay. Uh, Star Slayer 12. Uh, Star Slayer 11. That's a pretty cool cover. Ooh, Star Slayer 8. Okay, so these are some, what, 80s, 90s, maybe first comics? I'm thinking 80s. Uh, Star Slayer 7. And while we get into the next book, I also do a comics mystery box. If you're in the UK, so all my sales are UK only. Ten books, you get one guaranteed Bronze Age book, one guaranteed 90s indie, one guaranteed modern indie, one guaranteed early image book, six random books, and one out of the five limited, and it's limited to five only comic mystery boxes, Gets an additional five comics. It's the five The Guild one-shots by Felicia Day, published by Dark Horse. This is a keeper! Transformers. I'm a huge Transformers fan. I've probably got this in my collection in Australia, but I don't have it here, so... Hanging on to that one. Brimstone. I have no idea what this is. Zenscope Studios, uh, indie publisher. They do some pretty cool stuff. So Brimstone 6 looks Western-ish. I will check that out. Uh, Ten Grand by J. Michael Skrinsky. Uh, image book. I haven't read this myself, but I've heard good things about it. Oh, hello, folks. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a cold at the moment. We have the Johnny Quest Special Issue 2 from Comico. So this would have to be 80s or early 90s, like early, early 90s, like 91, 92. That's very cool. That's going up for sale. I don't collect Johnny Quest. Fish Police, issue 11 by Comico. Book I have heard of. Uh, I'll probably check this out, but that will end up going up for so. sale. A copy of The Pit. Uh, so this was Full Bleed Studios, so this wasn't Image. This was when it transferred over to Full Bleed. Uh, Pit 16. Now, Full Bleed was the studio behind it all the time, but... I think they published like the first 12, Image published the first 12 or 13 issues of The Pit before it became self-published. Uh, Titan Comics, Scarlet Couture. Okay. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'll probably read that before we sell it. Very cool. I remember this book. Eclipse Comics, Zot, issue 8. You'd find this in the dollar bins in the 90s all the time, but now a little bit harder to get. <coughs> Excuse me again. Uh, now Comics. Rust. Never heard of this book. But I do like that cover. That's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, Allegram book. So this is when Marvel and DC did their crossover in the, the late 90s, early 2000s. X-Patrol. Really good artwork, really good book. I really enjoyed that whole series. I've got it all multiple times. 
Oh, here we go. Here's a keeper. Uh, Ash, <laughs> Army of Darkness, Ashes to Ashes, issue one. Now, I've got most of the Army of Darkness books, but it's the same deal. They're in my collection in Australia, so. Ah, oh, The Light Dark War, issue two, by Eclipse Comics. Is it Eclipse? Or... No, that's Epic Comics, sorry. Uh, Red Fox, issue 20, by Valkyrie Press. I have no idea what this is. I will probably check that out. Cromwell Stone. Andreas. Dark Horse Comics. Doesn't seem to have an issue number, so I'm assuming it's just a, a one-shot called Andreas. Oh, very cool. Uh, this is the huge image crossover, Shattered Image. Uh, Kurt Busick wrote some of this. I will check that out. That's an awesome cover, too. Spawn, Savage Dragon, Zealot, all on the same cover. What is this? The Remarkable World of Professor Phineas B. Fuddle by Paradox Press, book one. Oh, we'll check that out for sure. Some of these books will end up in the mystery boxes. Uh, once we sell all the first mystery boxes, we'll create another five mystery boxes with some bonuses in there. And, you know, we might even do some indie number ones. This is mine. Um, I collect Captain Marvel, so Marvel Spotlight 3, Captain Marvel. I've been collecting Captain Marvel books since I was a kid. Uh, Captain Marvel Spotlight 2, Captain Marvel. I've only got a few here, but I might do a video on just my Captain Marvels. Now, these are cool. Um, these are very, very cool. So this is The First Man on the Moon. An all-new Marvel's classic comic. Okay. So this is adapted by the uh, for, by Jules Verne's story. So Jules Verne, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Um, also, a little bit of a side note. Doc Brown's kids are called Jules and Verne because his favorite writer is Jules Verne, who wrote The Time Machine. Uh, Micronauts. Why do we always end up with so many issues of Micronauts? This one's a, not in the greatest condition. That's like a reader copy. Cool. Uh, Excalibur. Can't see the issue number because that 199's over it. Uh, issue number 90. Excalibur. Little trick sometimes down here as well. 90s comics. Uh... Grant Morrison, New X-Men 117. Very cool beast cover. That is a, a very, very cool cover. Who would have done that? I don't know. I'll check. I like that beast cover. Uh, Mary Jane, issue three. No idea. So this is one of the teen or ages books, I'm guessing. Oh, hello, very cool cover and variant and going on my wall as of right after this. Extinction Agenda, issue three, the variant cover. So, you know, see what's missing. That's very cool. Uh, Alpha Flight, issue 14, very cool. Got to go through my Alpha Flights to see what double ups I have, but Alpha Flights are going to go home with me. Um, so this is a reader copy as well. Uh, the Collected Ninja High School, Volume 7. It's his spine's not happy. Is that Fred Perry? Uh, Superman 663, original DCU. So I will probably hang on to that because I'm sort of collecting Superman from the 80s, 90s and original DCU. They're the books I remember. So here's another one. Um, Superman 91. Uh, Superman 77. 
funeral for a friend part eight that's that's awesome that's awesome that's when he comes back i believe ish in john ken's memories oh man still the doom patrol written by john Byrne. so the superman 20 so this would be early 80s this is uh just after crisis oh dead man cover that's very awesome i think i'm gonna have to put that one up uh dead man uh action comics 605 look at that dead man cover um miss miracle three of four and this grant morrison and i believe it's part of the seven soldiers of victory oh oh that's pretty cool i like this cover um i'm guessing this is the adam from when he was part of the team uh this is suicide squad 46 and this is cool and i will uh hang on to this because this is just a, a a thing of my era and it looks like the post is actually still in there as well so this is war of gods issue two uh it's george prez Um, like that's such an 80s dc cover it's so cool actually i might put that up as well just like because it's a a cool 80s dc cover so sorry if i'm talking a little bit quietly because my voice my throat isn't happy but that was a 37 pound delivery i am pretty happy with that i think there's some great books there to put in our mystery boxes or the next set of mystery boxes there's some great books there that we're going to pass on for some really good prices Make sure you check out my eBay account. Um, I like that cover. Even if it is all ages, it's, that is a cool cover. That's pretty cool. All right, so thanks again for watching. Let me know what you've picked up recently. If you're in the UK, don't forget to check out my eBay page. We sell thousands and thousands of items, including hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of comics every month. So make sure you check it out. Until next time, I've been your host, The Stooge. And don't forget... Adventure. Excitement. Stooge craves not these things. Welcome to the Stooge Revolution. <laughs>